communion portals. That's quite a way to describe artwork. She's right up there now, dancing in the bamboo. Why in the world would you want to be married or fairy bonded with me? I can't believe it. You won't believe it. That fairy being that I wrote a story about, check out my earlier video, A Garden Sprite Encounter, if you haven't seen that yet. She revealed herself to me a few days ago. Naturally, I didn't know what I was seeing at first. She looks like a very small, very beautiful young woman I didn't see any wings at first. Her wings are invisible unless she's using them. At that point, they're so bright, it just makes her look like a brilliant lens flare. This may be a little confusing, but I'm the only one who can see and hear her. She's right up there now, dancing in the bamboo. Don't worry, she sees me. It's not like I'm sneaking up on her or anything. I'll try to, I'll try to describe exactly what I see and hear for you. I know that you know that they can't see or hear you, but is it all right if I ask you a few questions on camera. She thinks it's adorable that I happen to be a YouTuber because I already seem to be talking to people who aren't really here. Her voice is remarkable. It sounds like it's originating deep in my ear and it tickles a little. It's kind of breathy, a little sexy. She likes, she does like teasing me. I'm not sure how to describe the accent. It's got a melodic quality, kind of like listening to the Irish or someone from Australia. If that someone happened to be a very beautiful girl whispering in your ear. Let's start with an easy one. What is your name? Really? That's not like a stripper name or something? You'd have to be able to see what she's doing to appreciate the context here. She's got one leg hooked around the bamboo stalk and is stretching her body out in these long, graceful, curving lines. I'll tell him, don't worry. She wants you to know that she's not completely naked yet. Her name is Shenanigan. I was surprised by what she said next. What? What do you mean we're married? How did that happen? Is that, is that why I can see and hear you? Aren't I a little old for you? Just how does this all work? There's a lot to unpack here, so I'll just have to explain in my own words what she said. The fairy bond connection is a little different than marriage. 
It's generally lifelong, but if it involves a human male, the guy doesn't even have to know about it and doesn't have to agree to it. Fairy bonds are not strictly monogamous or even traditionally heterosexual. There is a magical element to them, though. It offers a kind of at-will spiritual bilocation, like, like empathy on steroids. Wherever we are, however far apart, she can always feel how I'm doing and know if I need to see her and know just because we're bonded doesn't mean I can always see her. She still has to want to be seen to be visible to humans. So if we are married, does that make your full name Shenanigan Grimes? No. Fairy folk do not typically exchange their names. They are very solitary, independent. They spend most of their lives alone in nature. They see us humans more like herd animals. Humans need to be around each other in order to live healthy and happy lives. They can be together without being together, if that makes sense. Shenanigan is actually much, much older than I am. I'm a little over 50, and incidentally, I just had to have my very first colonoscopy. Now, it's easy to joke about how invasive and uncomfortable that procedure is, but really, it's done under sedation, so I just took a nap and then it was done. If your doctor recommends one for you, don't say no just because it might be uncomfortable or you might not think that that's something you ever want to have done to you. The dietary restrictions the week before are a little inconvenient and the medication you have to take the night before is god-awful, but really the procedure itself is completely safe and easy. They did find a polyp and removed it. It's being sent off for biopsy, but I expect everything will be just fine. I'll let you know in a future video if there's any kind of an issue. Well, you look like you could barely be 18 years old. What? Flattery will get me where? Nowhere. She said back when I was 18. She still looked like she was 18. For them, age differences really don't matter. So I guess that makes me feel a little more comfortable about whatever this relationship is supposed to be. Still, if my whole life is just a relative blip to her, maybe she's just slumming with me. Back to that colonoscopy. It's kind of funny. I'm Brian. My anesthesiologist was Brian, and the doctor performing the procedure was also Brian. So, hey Brian, hello and thanks. Do me a favor, click the link below and share it with the other Brian so I can say hello and thank you to him as well. So she's saying that my story in that earlier video about how she dances in magic places to nourish herself and keep the magic alive in the world is, is pretty much accurate. Well, that's pretty interesting. I wouldn't have thought of it that way. I, I didn't think it was intuition. I just thought it was imagination. For the record, are you a garden sprite or a forest fairy? It's a potato potato kind of thing, but she prefers forest fairy. Garden Sprite feels just a little too domesticated to her. Forest fairies live slower and longer than we do. To them, we look like a bunch of chickens running around with our heads cut off, always in a big rush to get somewhere not important at all. Why in the world 
would you want to be married or fairy bonded with me? Well, that's nice of you to say, but could you please take your finger out of your mouth like that? It's a little distracting and more than a little suggestive. This is supposed to be a family friendly YouTube channel. I made you blush. Did too. I think I can say this on YouTube. Shenanigan claims that I am very delicious. Yeah, that is very interesting. She says that the magic that we are open to is the magic that flows. And because fairies rely to a very large extent on magic as their food source, she finds hanging around me very fulfilling. It's kind of weird. Some of her words come out fast and, hold on. I'm not saying you're weird. You are wondrous. It's weird. Some of her words come out fast. Some of them she has to pause over. How do you even know English? It can't be your native language. Shenanigan is picking up on how to speak our language by listening to that fairy bond empathy connection. She's literally plucking the right words out of my heart. How would I say in your language just exactly what this empathy connection is? It's just lovely the way you say that. I, it sounds wonderful. It's called the gift of true empathy. And it sounds something like shiny for locked. Hold on. <laughs> it's okay. What, what in the world did I just say? No. No, I am not going to tell them that. Evidently, I was soliciting something vulgar. Well, don't just laugh at me. Say it a little slower and try to exaggerate the enunciation for me. All right. Shinhain for Luke Enoch. Enoch. In knocked. Okay, she's still laughing at me, but she says it's close enough. This is something our viewers might want to try sometime. Go for a walk out in the woods, and when you come across a spot that you feel intuitively connected to magic, try saying that phrase out loud and let me know what happens. <laughs> you can also say it the first way and let me know how that goes. So you just live out here? Don't you get cold this time of year? I mean, you're not naked, but you're, you're barely dressed. Forest fairies don't get hot or cold unless there's something wrong with the magic around them. To them, our houses would be like living in big refrigerators. She says, if she ever does come inside, she has to huddle up near the communion portals. By that, she means the original artwork in my home. I guess some art radiates magic. Communion portals. That's quite a way to describe artwork. Collecting original art is probably the easiest way for people to bring magic into their environment. Okay, Shenanigan, I know that's not a stripper name, but you have been pole dancing here this whole time. I happen to have a dollar from some of the chicken eggs that we sell. Well, you are very welcome.
you really aren't going to give me that dollar back. It's not like you're going to spend it on anything out here. 